We're doing a first look, last look, and a bunch of these bags before they head out at auction, so we're just going to grab them in order. This is an old military bag, and I wish I could remember which military it was. By the time I saw it on eBay, I'll have looked it up. But I'm guessing because of the tabs, I know it's Europe, and I'm going to suggest Germany, but yeah, I don't think so. So I don't know what this is. We'll use that to help determine what it is and as a photograph. Uh, it does say BS on here, but I'm hoping that's somebody's name and not the bag itself. I've had this bag for a long time. I'm almost positive I know where I bought this one back in the 80s online. No, not online, you know, on a catalog and uh, sight unseen. And I thought it was going to be better than it is. It's a little narrow. I don't know if it's, it's bigger than a canteen pouch, but it's smaller than a butt, pa butt pouch, butt pack. I can't think of what we call butt pack. Anyway, the way that it flops over here, I'm not a super big fan of. Uh, it does silently connect with these leather straps which are in great shape considering its age and how I've kept it. I've just had it in this bin with a whole bunch of other bags I don't use that much or ever. These are the kind of bags that get downgraded to like if I need a bag to do something gross or if I need a bag that might not make it home I use these and if I just can't bear to get rid of it because they're cool. These are a lot of my cooler bags. These are just neat. I've had them for a long time and uh, like I said, I bought this thing probably from Sportsman's Guide or one of the other catalogs back in the day that was equivalent, but more than likely Sportsman's. I bought a lot of stuff that way. And it had a shoulder strap, I'm pretty sure. It never had the waist strap. But this makes me think it might have been a gas mask bag, but the leather is so old that it could have been like a sapper bag or something. So it's a great little pouch, especially if you're a girl and you like to carry purses and stuff, you could have you know, a strap on this, which is nice and secure. These loops aren't going anywhere. That's certainly not going anywhere. It's in great shape. Uh, that canvas is still in great shape. Just one big pouch and this little outside pouch that you have access to. No rips or tears and everything's in great shape. It doesn't even smell gross. I'd keep it if it wasn't such a weird thing and I think it's German. And uh, I don't really care for having a big giant leather pouch at the bottom of it. And again, that makes me think it's German because they would just do that for no reason. I guess you could say that's having a little bit of issue, but it's certainly not ruined it. It's just worn. So you could polish this back up and care, give it some care. And the leather hasn't lost any thickness or it's not brittle or anything. It's, it's nice. So uh, this thing with some TLC could come right back to being as good to go. Uh, we'll be putting it on eBay. Looking forward to your comments. We're going to be using it in these last videos to compare the clasps, more than likely, the materials, the shape, and uh, looking forward to comments on this one. More than likely the last time you'll see that particular one featured here or on uh, the websites. Alright, let us know in the comments what you think, and then until next time, thanks for watching.